Good Tuesday morning. There's going to be a special event that is happening a little bit later this month. It's actually going to be a historic event because for the first time ever, a man with a disability will be traveling across international waters from one country to another country. And that man is Hamilton native, Mike Shorman. Good, Good to have you with us uh, this morning, Mike, because morning. it's August the 22nd to the 25th. 24th. 24th. Okay. Yeah. So we're, we're a couple weeks out. Let's get, let's get to the story. Okay. okay. Where did this, uh, first off, how long you've been paddle boarding for? So I've been paddle boarding for about 13 years. Um, and, and yeah, no, it began as a hobby and, and then it turned into, uh, like a prof I turned it into a profession and, and then, and then I couldn't do it anymore. Okay. Cause what happened on April, April 2019? Uh, no, yeah, so so on April 20, so it all happened in November actually, November okay. 2018. 2018. Um, I got really sick. I developed a neurological condition, and and a number of things happened. But you know, my uh, basically what happened was my my face collapsed on the one side, um, and I lost my mobility, hearing impairments, and a bunch of a bunch of things, and and you know the doctor said that I would never paddleboard again, but. What was the condition? So it's called Ramsey Hunt syndrome, and it's a reactivation of your chickenpox virus from when you're a kid. We all have that in us yeah. if we've had chickenpox. Yeah, yeah. And was there a cause to it? Why it happened? So, so most of the time, it's caused by stress. Um, shingles is is activated by stress, um, and what happened was shingles attacked my ear, so it affected my vestibular system. So I, when I turn my head from side to side, I get really dizzy. Um, so I try not to do that too much. Still to this day. Yeah, yeah. No, I did. I did like a year of physiotherapy, like learning how to walk again, and and doing things like paddleboarding. And but, when was the first time you were back on a paddleboard? Uh, so the first time was uh, May 2019, and I lasted three minutes sitting down. So May 2019, this happened in November 2018. Yeah. So how did we get to the, this point where you're going to be crossing Lake Ontario from Rochester to Toronto? And why did you want to do that? Uh, so, you know, I went, you know, when I, when everything happened, I lost my business. I lost my independence and my social life. And I went to a really dark place uh, mentally. Um, I ended up getting a lot of mental health treatment. Um, and then on the other side of that, I started working with mental health organizations. So I partnered with Canada's number one youth mental health organization, Jack.org. Um, and, and I had an event for them last year and it was great. Like we raised, you know, several thousand dollars, but at the same time, we were weeks of going into a big lockdown and, and fear was running around. And, and I remember thinking like, how can we make this bigger? How can we make this so that it has impact and, and it helps a lot of people? And and the plan started then to like, let's become the first person to do this. To do this. <laughs> and like you can't do it by yourself. There has no. to be a team with you There's to like keep team. you safe because yeah. like Lake Ontario, yeah. it's a big lake. It's wild. Right? It's so it's wild out there. So no, I I, I have a, a, a great team. Um, I've got two support boats. Uh, I've partnered with the Toronto Marine Police Unit who are helping me yeah. uh, come in on the 24th. Um, and, and yeah, so it's jack.org slash the crossing. And if that's what you deem, the yeah. crossing. Yeah. August the 22nd to the 24th. So all morning long, we're gonna be hanging out with Mike. That was, we wanted to set everything up to kind of tell the story. We wanna know a little bit more about the boards that you have, yep. uh, how you're training, yep. both on the water and off the water. Yep. And then uh, seeing if you can get this guy on, okay. right? Maybe get, we can, get, maybe we can, get this guy on. Maybe we can pop out there and uh, give it a test run because the crossing is happening. Hamilton native Mike Shoreman going from Rochester to Toronto later this month. Happy Tuesday, hanging out with paddleboarder Mike Shoreman. I'm getting them set and ready. I'm his trainer <laughs> leading up to the trainer. crossing. Trainer Tim. <laughs> which is happening uh, a couple weeks away now, right? Couple August the away. 22nd. Mike is doing something nobody has ever done before. As um, I guess in November of 2018, yeah. suffered a condition called Ramsey Hunt syndrome. And that's yeah. a variant of, of shingles. Yep drastically affected you. Yeah. You had your own paddleboard company in downtown Toronto yeah. running, very successful, and it kind of stopped all of that. Yeah. Here we are, fast forward almost three years. Almost three right? years. 
don't have the company back, no. right? But you're back on a paddleboard. Back on a paddleboard, right. doing different things. Yeah. Yeah. But just proving that nothing's going to stop you and that you can do anything you've achieved to. We can, yeah, we can set goals for ourselves and work towards them. Yeah. Yeah. How much are you still affected by the Ramsey hunt? So, you know, when the weather, what the weather is beautiful today. Yeah. Whenever the weather changes or the barometric pressure changes, I crash. Um, so, you know, when we go from days like this to like a rainy day, I really feel it in my when body. When you say crash, do you mean you're just not feeling yourself? Are you dizzy? What are I you? Get, I get dizzy. I feel a bit sick. I feel like I have no energy. Um, so and I just feel tired. What's going to happen? Like, is this the, are these the boards that you're going to be riding in Lake yeah. Ontario? Like, so which this, one? So this is going to be very similar to the one that I'm it's riding. It's so thin. It is so thin. So this one's built for speed because we don't want to go slow out there. We're going to go wanna fast. Be, you want to be moving. Um, but you're also dealing got, with massive swells. We are, yeah. Like, how do you train for that? Um, so, you know, part of this, you know, when I turn my head from side to side or up and down, whoa. Like that? Like that. Like, I get really dizzy. Um, so I'm going to be paddleboarding standing up and sitting down on my knees and on my butt and taking breaks. So, so I'll do, you know, 15, 20 minutes standing up and then I'll come down and I'll do, you know, five or 10 minutes on my knees and then, you know, sit down for a little bit. I've got a lot of power when I'm sitting down. Right. So, so I'm not worried that that's going to slow me down. So what's training been like? Training is interesting. So I, I can't run with my head the way that it is, but I can speed walk. So I've been out, you know, speed walking every morning for for a number of months. And then we had the weights, the kettlebells here. And then we've got the weights and the kettlebells. So how much of the say training are you doing off the water compared to on the water? I would say half and half. Right. I started on the water training back in October. I was out paddle boarding on the lake in a dry suit in January. It was minus two, minus yeah. 10, minus 15. Oh, you are hardcore. Um, but when you, when you've, you know, you're going for 50 miles on your first day and then you're going for 30 on your second day, then then you know you've, 45 you've, miles is the grand total of the crossing no 87 so so i know what i have to do on each day um and it's it's like you know you you plan for it um so so this has been months of planning good for you Thanks. and you're all doing it for a great cause canada's number one youth mental health organization so they're providing programs and services to youth in every province and territory um they're very active in hamilton which is amazing. I'm from Hamilton. Yeah, Hamilton so, guy, Westdale grad, right? Yep, Westdale grad. Grew up on Arkell Street. Yeah. Yeah. Now uh, the now famous Arkell Street. Uh, but I want to tap in. Let's take another break because maybe we can get in the water here at Princess Point. Just put the boats in and you can teach me a couple of things. But also tap into the mental side of things because okay. it was a physical condition that you got, Yeah. but it really affected you mentally. Yeah. Okay, so and how we're building that back up. Uh, you want to pick up the 40 pounder there? I picked up the yeah. light one. Okay. <laughs> Of course you did. Yeah, right. <laughs> we'll come back with Mike Sherman getting ready for the crossing on August the 22nd from Rochester to downtown Toronto on Morning Live. Welcome to Princess Point. Beautiful morning out here on the water with Hamilton native Mike Sherman. To see you, Mike. Mike's had a trying three years. If you haven't joined us throughout the morning, suffered from something called Ramsey Hunt Syndrome back in uh, November 2018, which is a variant of shingles and drastically changed your life, Mike. Because you were running a successful paddleboard company in Toronto. Love and life, love and be on the water. Yeah. And, uh, and what it I, did is your balance was everything. Off, yeah, changed. I became the unbalanced paddleboarder. Everything got, I got knocked off my board. So. But you're back on your board. But I'm back on my board. And, and uh, doing something nobody has ever done. Somebody with a disability crossing Lake Ontario from Rochester to Toronto, uh, August the 22nd. The distance is. 87 miles, 140 kilometers, three days. How do you train for that? Um, so, you know, it's a lot of on land training yeah. and a lot of on the water training. It started back in, you know, the whole planning process started in September. So the training kind of started and end of October. Yeah. So I feel I feel good. We're going like for three weeks to go and I'm I'm feeling like I'm I've, we're, we're ready. Right. There's the physical aspects that has affected you. Yeah. Let's talk about the mental side because that's yeah. actually what you're doing the crossing for. Yeah. So, 
So I think, you know, what a lot of people went through with this pandemic was a lot of what I went through. But there was job loss. There was feeling like loss of independence, social life, isolation, and eventually all of that with, you know, being told that you're not going to fly, you're not going to do road trips, you're not going to paddleboard. It just took me to the edge. Um, so I ended up going to get mental health treatment, uh, which put me down the road of, you know, speaking to counselors and therapists. And, and then on the other side of it, I, you know, I, I started working, I started writing about mental health. I started working with mental health organizations like Jack.org, which is Canada's number one youth mental health organization. So I've been working with them, you know, for, for a couple of years now. And, and that's what you're doing the crossing for. That's Jack. what I'm doing the crossing for. So, so really what is like, I just, I felt very alone in where I went. I can't imagine a kid feeling that way. Um, imagine feel, imagine like a 13 year old kid feeling like there's no options. Um, I don't want kids to feel that way. Um, and I'm sure like, nobody does. So fortunately, what Jack.org does is they provide programs and services helping youth all across the country. So, so that's what I'm doing this for and we're raising funds and awareness for, for, for this. August the 22nd to the 24th from Rochester to Toronto. We have one more. I haven't stood up yet. This is Not a standard yet. paddle board. Okay? We'll do that when we come back and we'll <laughs> talk about something when you put your paddle in the air, it's we, called? It's called Paddles Up. Paddles Up to the crossing on Morning Live. One last visit with Mike Shorman, stand up paddle boarder, who is doing the crossing from Rochester to Toronto coming up soon, like uh, just over August, three weeks, yeah. August the 22nd. August, August 20, 22nd. August 22nd to 24th. Yeah. I've, been, I've been kneeling the whole time. Yeah, we're going to get you through up. through the standing up portion of the stand yeah. up paddle board, Mike. We're going to get you up. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to lean forward yep. and put your body weight into the paddle. Second step, you're going to bring up your first foot. Bring it out. Okay, so do you see that handle yeah. right there in the middle of the board? Yeah. You want to bring your foot outwards to the side of the board. Yeah. yeah. Very good. Next step, paddle back down. Lean your body weight back into the paddle again. Back. And you're going to bring your second foot up. So you're going to be in a squat. Oh, there we go. <laughs> okay. There we go. Now, my board is a whole lot thicker than your board. Yes. Yeah, so that is built for balance and for stability. This is built for speed. So how difficult is that for you? So if you haven't been watching this morning, Mike suffered from something called Ramsey Hunt syndrome, which affects your I don't know, vision loss, hearing, balance. Yeah. So how much have you recovered from that to be able to get back on the board, Mike? Quite a bit. So, you know, I was using a cane. My parents were holding me up when I was walking. Um, so it's amazing to be back on the board. Yeah, this morning I feel a little bit shaky, but overall pretty good, pretty good. Because you don't know what's going to happen come the I don't. 22nd to the 20th. I don't, so I'm you hoping... Don't know if it's going to be beautiful weather like this No, either. so if you're watching Hamilton, please, like, you know, ask, ask for, like, no wins. But, um, but no, fingers crossed, it's, it's a smooth ride for, you know, a whole three days. Well, listen, <laughs> the middle of Lake Ontario is not like out here at no. Princess Point. So how can you deal with the with the massive swells that you'll be dealing with? So I'll be doing a lot of stand up, sit down and kneeling paddle boarding. So I'll be like, you know, paddling, standing up. And then when I get dizzy, I'll come back down. I'll do a lot of kneeling. Right. If I get really tired, I'll lean back. I'll sit on my bum. I'll do I'll do some sit down paddle boarding. Will you um, have the support like Christy's here today? Yeah, so I've got so Christy's here today. She's helping me. Um, but out there, I've got two support boats. I've got a paramedic with me. I've got, you know, captains. I've got a motivational coach. Um, I've got a dietitian on board with me. Yeah, there's like a, n a number of people who are, who are, you know, helping in big ways. Lastly, like what does paddleboarding mean to you? Why is, it, why is it so great and how much has it helped you? So I think, you know, when that first time that I got back on a paddleboard when they said that I couldn't, you know, I just felt like I was at home again. Paddleboarding brings me peace, being by the water and on the water, even though sometimes like I get dizzy or I get vertigo or I feel like I'm going to be sick, it's worth it. Yeah. 
Um, it helps clear my head. Um, it, you know, I've gone through this pandemic with a very positive mindset, I would think, I, I would say, uh, because I've been on the water so much. So he's going to be on the water for 140 kilometers. We are, yep. August the 22nd, it's a Sunday to, I guess it's a Tuesday. Uh, Sunday to Tuesday Sunday night. To Sunday, Sunday to Tuesday night. Yeah. So you can, um, you can support Mike by going to jack.org. Jack.org slash the, slash the crossing. The crossing. Yeah. And we'll be uh, we'll be keeping an eye on you. I'm Thank you. Hamilton guy, we're proud of you. Thank Good you. Good stuff. Thanks, Tim. Okay. Want to go for a paddle? Yeah, let's go for a paddle. Let me back into you. Yeah, let's do it. Let me knock you off. <laughs> I'm not going to knock you off. We did achieve our goal of not falling. <laughs>